Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have filmed a full 0 to 100 modern take on a classic 90s look today. This is my vibe. You guys know by now that I am a bit of a nude gal. Like, I've hit my 30s. I really only wear brown shadow personally for me now, unless I'm experimenting. Today I wanted to do something that really showed what I'm doing in terms of a 0 to 100. So, pale, feeling drab, not feeling the best about myself, to like a fully made up glam bam siren look. It's a bit of fun and also I've done a completely different type of skin than what I would usually show on my channel. I've done something very glossy, very sheer, using new product. Basically, if you're a dry gal like I am, this is the perfect way to create a full beat. Without it looking like a mask, this is something that is very cream focused with a last minute hit of powder. It's very soft. As you can see, it really complements anybody's skin and keeps everything looking juicy, healthy and hydrated. So thank you so much for watching the video. As always, there's loads of product recommendation in here and some new stuff that I've probably never used in this channel before. So I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoyed that I'm back with a talking tutorial rather than a voiceover. So enjoy. So I'm pretty pale right now and... This is the real me. So I'm going to start with skincare and then we'll move on to making me look a little bit more bronzed. But this is literally a 0 to 100 video. So I'm going to start by just simply giving my skin a quick cleanse. To do this, I'm using the Garnier Micellar Rose Water. This is honestly the palest I've been on camera in such a long time. Um, but I've just been letting my tan fade away naturally. The next product I'm going to use is the La Roche Posay. This is the Redermic, Redermic Retinol. And honestly, it's an anti wrinkle eye cream. But if you're someone who suffers from sensitive eyes, you don't go on with eye cream. I've taken so many allergic reactions to eye creams, and I've never found one that works as good as this. I absolutely adore this stuff. I think it's one of the best skincare purchases I've ever made. You can probably hear my washing machine cleaning my sheets. It's a Sunday. I'm enjoying a gin and tonic. I had a few clients this morning and I thought to myself, why not have a pamper and get ready? Now time for serum and I'm going today with the legend that is the original Genifique from Longcomb. I have really fallen back in love with this stuff. So let's pop some serum on. This was a product I used all the time, maybe about five years ago, but I've just recently fallen back in love with it and I actually love mixing it with my foundation. And again, for someone like me who struggles with skincare that doesn't upset my skin or it doesn't bring out any psoriasis breakouts, I stick with Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. Phenomenal. It is so inoffensive to sensitive skin to makeup application. It's a 24 hour daily lightweight moisturiser and honestly, I mean the proof is in the pudding because my jar is nearly empty. I could literally, <laughs> literally, I could literally slather myself in this stuff because it's just such an incredible product. Okay, skincare done, let's move on to the actual skin bronzing and makeup application. So let's get ready to get bronzed and go from pale and drab to bronzed and fab. I'm going to use the Bella Mianta Extra Dark Tanning Liquid. So I actually find tanning liquid so much better for me. Uh, when my skin is really dry and I actually have been a bit cautious of a fake tan disaster because my skin has been a little bit temperamental recently but I feel like I've caught it straight off the bat. Uh, I actually like putting a little bit of this onto this brush and putting it onto my face as well and I find that if it's a liquid and not a mousse it doesn't stick to my dryness, it instantly tans me. I actually like wearing this out as a base. If I'm not going to anything where I need a full face of makeup, I like this just as a bit of colour and as you can see because it isn't a mousse and I've already done all my skincare, it blends in beautifully. 
So I've changed into a black tank top because obviously we've just tanned and I didn't want anything to rub off on anything pale. But we're looking a lot more flawless. My skin doesn't look that kind of like bitty way that it can go with tan sometimes. But we definitely look like we've got a flush of colour to the skin which will develop. But as you can see versus what it looked like two minutes ago, I'm more bronzed. So because I'm a makeup artist, obviously I like to mix. So I have my mixing palette here. And I think for me, I'm going to start with one staple that I absolutely can't live without. And I honestly think it has been one of my favorite products of 2022. And that is the YSL New Glow Balm. Love it. Healthy, glowy primer for underneath makeup or mixing balm for sheeting out fuller coverage foundations. I'll be mixing my beloved Oliver's foundation. You guys know I love this. And the, also the incredible Bare Look Tint. This gives a little bit of a sheerer consistency of the All Hours because I want more of a fresher look today. I'm not actually doing anything. So I want my foundation to be silky and I don't need as much coverage as All Hours gives on its own. We'll pump a little bit of the MN8 All Hours into our concoction and then also we're going to take the Bare Look Tint from the new collection. This is the shade 4 that I use in the Bare Look Tint which is a little bit fairer. This is what my concoction is currently looking like. You guys know that I love a sponge as well. So I've got my old but trusty and clean, it is clean, sponge. I mean it's been through the wars this one but I love how soft it is. I couldn't even tell you the brand because it's completely worn down. But I think just in the spirit of keeping things quite glowy on my skin, I'm going to put a touch of glow into this as well. I can't decide between the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow or the Vive Skin Do. The Skin Do is a little bit stickier so I think we'll go for the Wonder Glow. And this is our wonderful potion that we're about to mix up and put onto our skin. And then we'll test the colour. Yeah, the colour's looking good. And I just put the splodges of it all over my face and then get it bounced into the skin and looking fresh and beautiful. Okay, now I want to highlight and conceal where I need it and my two go-to products for that are definitely going to be the YSL Touche Eclat Original and the Urban Decay Stay Naked Concealer. So I'm going to start with the concealer, which is obviously the Stay Naked, and I'm going to just do a little bit here and a little bit here, the trending concealer application. Much less than I probably ever have applied. And then with the base of the sponge again, I'm just going to blend it out. Once I've blended out the concealer and really covered up what I want to, then I can go in and add a little bit of light back into this. Okay, then to add the light and luminosity back into it, that's when we'll take the Touche Eclat. This is the shade Zero. Um, I'm going to just take a little bit in strokes underneath my eye to bring a, a luminosity back because the original Touche Eclat is more of a highlighting pen and a, a radiance wand rather than a traditional concealer. So I definitely wouldn't be trying to conceal any blemishes with this. It's more so about adding radiance and bringing the light to the areas that I want to see. Now we're going to add some cream bronze. Now this is my trusty cream bronzer. It's the All Hour Stick uh, by YSL in the shade B85 Coffee. However, these have been discontinued. If I can find it, I'll link it. And my trick is to bounce it onto your sponge before your face. Drawing lines on the face can sometimes mean the product set before you get the chance to blend. So for me, actually doing it just in the area you want to be bronzed with the cream applied onto the sponge. I'm going to take the Urban Decay Back Top Lipstick, take some onto my mixing palette. Then I'm also going to take some of my Touche Eclat mix it in there and create a custom blush. In the higher points of my cheek I'm actually just going to apply it straight from this brush which is like a stippling brush and the placement that I want it and then with my original sponge I'm going to blend out the brush strokes and have this beautiful custom pink cream blush. Now to add shimmer I am going to go straight in with the Vive Skin Do which I absolutely love for looks like this because it does stay quite wet and tacky looking. If you're someone that doesn't like wet things on the skin then this probably isn't going to be for you but I just love how beautiful this product is. And just look at the freshness. 
Okay, and I also just popped the rest onto my decolletage and my shoulders because I ain't a waster. I wasn't wasting the rest of the product that was on the back of my hand. So at this point, I'm going to jump off camera and do my brows. My brows have been the same way for ages. I'm still just pushing them upwards with soap and then running a little bit of powder through them. That's a softer brow that I like to do and I think it will suit this look perfectly. So I'll jump off and do that and we'll come back for the eyes. Okay, my eyebrows are on. It's my usual fluffy, big spiked up numbers. I actually did carve underneath them as well because I do want a, a kind of manicured element to this look today. Do you know what? I showed you the P. Louise Wedding Wish palette in my last video. So I'm going to go in with my big palette that I use, ah, which is the P. Louise If The Crown Fits. Now I got this on the TikTok shop. I use it all the time, which is why it's quite a uh, busted looking already. But can you imagine getting all of that product? So that's a separate, look, this is separate. La la! 18 pounds TikTok shop. We're there people, TikTok shop is slowly draining. <coughs> Straining my bank account, draining my bank account. I'm going to start with the shade Say Yes. Prepped my eyes just with a little concealer, which was my Stay Naked concealer. So actually maybe what I'll do is I'll set it with a matte because I'm going to go for quite a matte look. With a mix of the shade Baroness and The Beast. I'm not mad on the packaging, but I think P. Louise or Paige says herself that her packaging is very hit or miss with people. You either love it or you hate it. I think just for functionality as a makeup artist. It's not really for me. I could decant them, which I might actually. Not decant, sorry, de depot. Is that the right word? <laughs> and what I'm going to do is just work on the outer corner. Now, these shadows give a major pigment, but they are so creamy and blendable. The blend on them is incredible. This fair colour right here and it's a shimmer. I'm going to use it on my finger though. It's not as shimmery as some of the others in the palette. Because I'm actually not a big shimmer eyeshadow wearer these days. I like it to look a little bit sheerer. This one's perfect. It's more like that satin rather than shimmer. And just popping it on with my fingers means that I can get the majority of the product down. But then if I want to go in and take a softer brush like this, I can buff it out and make it part of the look without giving it a really solid moment. This whole look is very diffused. There's going to be nothing heavily structured about the skin, the shadow application. I want them all to be super blended. But then there might be a wing, there might be a lip. I think I'm going to go with the shade My Hero and just really push it into the lash line now. And the thing is about adding a darker colour is keep the brush that you're using for diffusing. Using for diffusing and really uh, blend it all into each other. Again, no structure, no eyeshadow has the moment on its own. It should all be very diffused. I'm going to use the Lancome Idol uh, Pen Eyeliner. Yes, I know. It's not setting spray and it's not eyeshadow. It might not be good because I just feel like I'm so used to using that technique. But I actually love this liner. I think it's one of the best pen liners on the market. So let's go. Guide into the middle, out and into the middle. Um, but just because this is a pen, I might change it. So just bear with me for a little minute here. So a guide for sure. And I want it quite heavy at the edge, so I've went really heavy and I want to come in with a very thin inner. If like me, you actually struggle with pen application, I get the like base of the wing on and I take a little bit of the product onto my mixing palette and use my liner brush. There we go. Okay, so I put this sharp AF wing on it with my trusty Lancome waterproof liner and then I put a quick lash on. Don't ask me what they were, they were literally stuck to my vanity and I'm going to put a bit of mascara on. This is the Lancome Lash Edol which I think is a no brainer to use because we used the Edol uh, liner but I'm kind of wondering should I put a waterline into this? 
Right, I think I am going to put a pencil liner in it and I think I'm going to go for the Urban Decay Bourbon Liner. Sometimes they really need a little, like look at the difference, they need the the waterline to, to make me feel bitchy, <laughs> siren-esque. Those pencils are incredible, but you have a little bit of play about time with them if you want to make them a little bit more smoky, chocolatey under there. And then I'm putting bottom mascara on because that's who I am as a person. I can't live without bottom mascara. I really hope this hasn't been discontinued. It's the L'Absolute Lacour in the shade Beige Sensation. I was going to do a vampy lip uh, and then I just thought, no, let's go for a nude. How beaut. It's liner lips with my trusty Vive Rumour, all time favourite liner. Okay, so liner roughly applied and then we'll go in with the long comb. <gasps> I love this. Blend them together. I hope this isn't discontinued. If it is, I'm sorry, I'll find a drama ink. This might be what drama ink replaced and if it is, I'll find one in the same colour. <laughs> Okay, and the only thing is now is I feel like I look a little bit pale for how vampy the eyes are. So I was going to just keep it with a cream bronze, but I think we can actually go in with a powder highlight and bronze now. Okay, I'm going to go in with a magic combo. The magic combo is Mac Soft and Gentle and Milani Baked Bronzer <laughs> and Soleil. Definitely need a bit of bronze because it's a shimmer bronzer. What a way to look on a Sunday afternoon. Can you, feel, can you tell that I'm starting to like feel myself with the fact that I've like put a bit of makeup on? Right, let's set this bad boy down. But that skin is so fresh, that liner is sharp AF. That lip is such a modern 90s, a modern take on like a 90s glossy, very moment brat's lip. I like this look, I hope you do too. Let's set it down. I'm obsessed with the new Urban Decay Vitamin C All Nighter Setting Spray. Keeps your makeup in place for up to 16 hours, but it also has cactus flower and what else does it have? Oh, no, cactus flower, water and vitamin C. It is just a vibe and especially if you've done like glossier skin, which we have today, like the skin is very glossy. This is a very modern take on a classic look. This adds to it because it keeps the skin almost glossy looking, whereas I do feel the original all nighter is a little bit more matte. But that is the final look, guys. I'll zoom you in for close-ups and I can't wait to see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.